Podcast at the FSVA. Tonight we have a very beautiful encounter with Master Jesus. We are going to learn manners with him. Did you know that Master Jesus is our best teacher for teaching us manner? Whoa, I bet we didn't know that. He's coming to our class specially tonight to teach us. Hooray for Master Jesus! Yay, yuppie! We can't wait to meet him. But, dear friends, how do we call upon Master Jesus? Do we Call him by the phone. Do you think he has an iPhone or iPad? Do we use our WhatsApp? Do we email Master Jesus? Do you guys remember what is our hotline with Master Jesus? Our hearts. And how do we connect our heart to Jesus' heart. Let's ask him to join us. How do we do it? We pray. Yes, that's right. When we pray, our heart enters in direct connection with Master Jesus' heart. Then we can say, come, Master Jesus. We are ready for you. All right, dear friends, ready? Set and go. Let's pray. Let us then close our eyes and open our hearts, imagining Master Jesus entering our homes right at this time, giving us a big hug. And Master Jesus then says, thank you for calling me. And he gives us a little tiny shiny heart. The little tiny shiny heart is like a little sun that emanates light to our entire home, to our neighborhood, to our friends, to our schools, and this light all of a sudden gets so much bigger that it connects every heart we know to Master Jesus' heart. Then Master Jesus says, I love you so much. I'm so happy you called me, and I'm here always to be a friend that you can count on. So we thank Master Jesus and we ask him to be our teacher tonight. Thank you, Master Jesus, for joining us. So be it. Yay, Master Jesus heard us. Thank you. He had great manners when he was incarnated here on the earth. Did we know that? Yes, by listening to stories that people, incarnated and discarnate spirits, share about Master Jesus. We know that he looked at everyone in the eyes. Whoa, everyone? Yes, everyone. As a matter of fact, he's looking at you in the eyes right now. What else did Master Jesus do so beautifully? He listened quietly. He really enjoyed listening to other people and to show other people that he cared. He listened quietly. By listening quietly, Master Jesus said without words, I care about you. You are important to me. So because he wanted to show that everyone was important to him, he was not a chatterbox. Yay, can you imagine Master Jesus? No, he really wanted to be 
a good friend. So just like we see here in this beautiful picture of Master Jesus, he held people's hand with love and care. He looked at them in the eyes. He smiled. He offered his presence and his kind help to everyone. And that's how Master Jesus showed that he cared. So we learned, dear friends, with Master Jesus that when we follow him and we practice good manners, we, like him, also show that we care. Isn't it beautiful that we can show other people that we care through our manners? Master Jesus has done that, and tonight he's saying, I would like you to be part of my team, remember? You have been part of my team already, so now it's time for us to really show that we care for others, and good manners is the way. And what is something else that Master Jesus knew how to do so beautifully? He knew how to wait patiently. Whoa, for his turn to talk. Hooray for Master Jesus. No wonder he is the best teacher ever. Whoa, for Master Jesus. Thank you for showing us how to have good manners, and most importantly, Master Jesus, thank you for showing us how to show others that we care for them. Thank you, Master Jesus. So now that we know how Master Jesus was so loving towards others through good manners, let's take a quiz. Are you ready? Ready, set, and go. Here's our quiz. The question is, hmm, what would our Master Jesus do in a situation like this? Imagine this. Mom is talking on the phone. Mom is answering emails. Mom is working. And we are drumming right next to mommy and mommy is like oh whoa, whoa, whoa. and we are like da, 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 da. so here's time for our quiz what would master jesus do in a situation like this letter a would he keep on drumming da, 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 or letter b would he ask for mom's phone Everybody loves mom's phone, right? Or, hmm, let us see. Would he wait quietly and patiently for mommy to finish her phone call without interrupting her? Hmm, what would Jesus do? Let's find out, friends. <gasps> Whoa, if you answered letter C, you got it. You definitely got it. He would show that he cares for mom by waiting quietly and patiently. How beautiful, right? So we know now a little bit more of how we can to show that we care by acting like Master Jesus. This is super cool, right? Yes. Now, dear friends, we would like to invite you to watch a cartoon. This cartoon is of a very adorable uh, bunny called Howard B. Wigglebottom. He's having trouble with manners. He doesn't know how to behave or show other people that he cares. Sometimes him and his friends get in a little bit of trouble because of that. So as we watch the cartoon and see how Howard B. Wigglebottom does, can you guys help him? Can we make a deal? Can you guys help him and say to him when he gets in trouble, Howard, 
This is not how Master Jesus would do it. Master Jesus would, okay? So because you are in Master Jesus's team, Master Jesus is counting on you to help Howard B. Wigglebottom to have good manners. So remember, as he gets in trouble, you say, this is how Master Jesus would do it. Howard, this is how Master Jesus would do it. Remember, Master Jesus is right here in our class. So he will be right next to you, watching over you. All right, dear friend. Before we get started, I just need to do a little something to get us perfectly ready. Howard B. Wigglebottom woke up very worried. The Pup Scouts Good Manners competition is in five days, and his team is not ready at all. Uh -uh. Oinky keeps forgetting to say, excuse me, when he burps or passes gas. That is not nice. Joey does not say excuse me when he bumps into people. That is not nice. Why is your nose so big? Kiki needs to learn words that make people feel good. She is not nice. The Snorton twins have trouble waiting their turn and cut in line. That is not nice either. <coughs> Buzz coughs without covering his mouth and does not wash his hands after going to the bathroom. That is not nice and dangerous too. So uncool and not nice. Still says bad words when he is angry. And Allie does not say excuse me when she interrupts grown-ups. Good luck! That is not nice. How can the team get ready in time for the competition? We are so behind. How about a really good coach? Said the little voice in his head. Every team needs a coach. Howard listened. After asking several grown-ups for help, Howard found the best manners coach ever. Teach them manners, please. Ms. Owley. Howard was very excited. The team was going to learn good manners for good, besides doing well in the competition. Ms. Owley got to work right away. Uh, uh, she watched each kid's manners at home, school, the park, and stores. Not your turn yet. Everyone on the team needed better manners. To have good manners is to do what makes people feel good and comfortable. Then she told the team a little secret. To have the best manners ever, we must repeat the magical little words. I care. Repeat them many, many times. I care. I care. I care. I care. 
Sorry for not covering my face. We care, and we are sorry. Now, let us go out there and practice. I care. Oh, sorry. Okay. Nice hat, sir. Next. After you, please. Excuse me for my loud burp. Four days later, Ms. Owley's magical little words had worked wonders. The team's manners had gone from bad to great. A funny thing happened, too. The kids felt really happy about themselves as they practiced making others feel good and comfortable. And yes, they did really well at the competition. Hi friends, and we are back here in our lesson for today. So, what did you think about our video? Interesting, right? So, did you help? Did you help Howard in his mission and his friends to win this competition? Ah, we hope you did, and we hope you were there asking yourself, what would Jesus do? Because we know at the end of the day, Jesus, he is our coach. He's there for us in every situation of our lives. So now we want to invite you to think about it, like Howard did helping his friends. So now we want to ask you, what would you do to practice good manners with Jesus in situations like this? So we're going to present you with a few scenarios and we want you to think now, how would you practice good manners with Jesus? Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. So what, how can you practice good manners like Jesus when someone tries to greet you? So look at this picture. Someone comes and say hi. How can we practice good manners like Jesus in a situation like this? Would Jesus hide and be shy like we see in here with the, in this picture? Or would he, as we learn with Miss Carol, would he look at people in the eyes and smile and say hi? Right? I think he would do that, don't you think? I think so. Jesus was so loving. He would never hide. He would look at people in the eye. He would greet them. He would... Give them a smile, right? So, what do you think? How about the next scenario? How to practice good manners with Jesus when someone gives us instructions? Hmm, receive a lot of instructions from our parents, right? So, like we see this little boy here, it's time to eat. Your parents invite you to the table. What, what would Jesus do in a situation like this? Would he do like this boy and not practice good manners? Or would he listen very carefully to the instructions? Hmm? Ah, good question, right? I think he would listen very carefully and follow the instructions, don't you? I think so. Well, how about the next one? Let's see, the next scenario. Hmm, scenario number three now. Are you following? Okay. How to practice good manners with like Jesus when we have a hard time finishing a task by ourselves. Hmm, this is very common, right? We're there trying to finish our homework uh, and we get, we don't know, right? We have a hard time finishing it. What, what would Jesus do? How he would practice his good manners? Hmm? Well, if you remember from last week, we learned that Jesus would team work. Yes, he was a great team player. So with that, he would always welcome help from others. So what 
would you do in a situation like this, putting the good manners taught by Jesus and asking maybe for help? Hmm, something to think about, don't you think, friends? How about our next scenario? How to practice good manners like Jesus taught us when we need to apologize? Hmm, we know, right? Sometimes we do things that we know it's not okay, right? And we need to be humble. Remember, Jesus was always humble. So how we can practice being humble with Jesus and saying, I'm sorry. Yes, I know what I did was not nice, but I'm sorry. Remember, that takes courage too, right? And Jesus taught us to be very courageous. Are you ready to practice being humble and courageous with Jesus? How about our next scenario? How to practice good manners like Jesus when we <gasps> bump into someone? Oh my gosh, it happens, right? You are there not paying attention and you bump to your friend. What do you say? How can we practice good manners like Jesus taught us? Jesus, as Miss Carol reminded us, he would always say, excuse me, are you okay? He was always caring, right? As we saw in our video, right? We care for one another and we ask one another how we're doing. So now we invite you. We want you to choose one of these situations. Which of these situations you wanted to include in the book of life? Remember, we're practicing putting things in the book of our life. So what would you do? How can we practice good manners with Jesus when well, someone tries to greet us, when we have a hard time finishing an assignment? Well, when someone gives us instructions, right? Or when we need to apologize and say that I'm sorry. Or in our last scenario, when we bump into someone. So we wanted to choose just one, choose one of the scenarios. Think about it. Hmm. How can we practice good manners with Jesus? And then we want you to draw or write. It can be one or both. You can illustrate a story if you want. And you put there in your book of life, how to practice good manners with Jesus in one of these situations. Ready? Yes, ready. Okay, so you might be asking, what is our hard work for this week? How do we wrap up this lesson of today, but we continue applying it throughout the week? Okay, so this week, we want you to practice following Jesus' examples. Hmm, how can you do it? How can we practice following Jesus' examples in good manner? Well, first, let's greet everyone very kindly. Let's look at them in the eyes and give a smile. Even though we are shy, we might be shy, but we can look at someone in the eye and say hi and be kind. Second thing, how we can follow Jesus' example is to listen patiently. Yes, let's be patient. Remember, we always practice breathing in and out and being very patient. Let's look at everyone in the eye, right? And acknowledge that's how Jesus taught us to look at everyone in the eye and to always offer help for our parents and friends. Now we're at home, right? We're there with our parents. What can we do to help them? to be even more helpful for our parents. And also to wait our turn, right? We have to wait. Everything is not about us. We need to wait until it's our turn to talk. Jesus was the master on this. He would wait very kindly to talk when was his turn. And lastly, to say, I'm sorry and excuse me. So let's practice in saying those words, two words, two phrases, I'm sorry and excuse me. Okay, you ready for this beautiful task? 
for this week. We hope you are. We hope you can continue practicing good manners with our Master Jesus throughout this week. And we hope to see you and we invite you to join us in a week from today, next Friday, so we can have another beautiful lesson with Jesus. Bye, friends, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.